Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to create some of the best setups for the home screen of your iOS 18 device. Now when it comes to creating setups for your iOS 18 device on the home screen, of course you can utilize the new features that Apple has added to iOS 18 that allow to create some amazing setups with the tinting of the icons and the ability to remove labels and of course place icons anywhere you want. But what What's really important are the wallpapers that you're using for your setup. Now, the wallpapers are basically the main thing on any setup. So if you want to get some amazing wallpapers for your setup, you can check the video here on the card and you will be able to find the apps from where I get the wallpapers for my setups. So I will show you guys a few different setups and how easily you can create them on your device, like this one right here. Now what we're doing here is utilizing this wallpaper. It has this dark line right here. And of course the character is the main thing here on the wallpaper. Now all you have to do if you want to create this is zoom in and out on the wallpaper so you adjust the line here where you will place the icons so that it fits perfectly for the size of the icons and then of course it's very simple you simply go to the edit mode here tap on edit and customize now what you want to do here is of course choose large that way you remove the labels from the icons and then you want to tint the icons but here when you tint the icons two things will happen that you should be aware of first of all if you tap on tint iOS will do that automatically and as you can see right here it will tint the icons based on the dominant color on that wallpaper but I don't want to do that here because it looks kind of dark here the icons don't actually stand out so what we're going to do here is tap on edit tap on customize again and tap on the color picker and then you want to pick the color here from the wallpaper now just notice that when you tap tint it will also enable the tint right there for the wallpaper that way it makes the wallpaper way darker you don't want to do that you tap right there to restore that and then you can just go ahead and have this very clean very nice looking setup for your home screen as you can see we only have the icons right here without labels and of course remove all the other pages and you will have a very nice looking home screen setup on your iOS 18 device. Now this next one right here is really interesting. Now for this setup we didn't tint the icons. All I have done here is just place the icons here with, where there is a white space and of course have removed the labels from the icons. You always want to do that because you get a much cleaner setup for your home screen. But you can also notice right there that the icons are all in different shapes. And that's pretty cool because it has a white background and we only have placed right there icons that do have a white background so only the logo right there in the middle that is colorized will stand out so for this setup again you set up the wallpaper and the wallpapers that you see on these setups will all be linked right down below in the description of the video so if you want to get any of them you can do that from there so all you have to do here is just set up again the wallpaper make sure you go to customize and then choose large icons right there. If it enables the dark tint for the wallpaper automatically, make sure you disable that. And you can see right now how you get this amazing looking setup. It actually looks way, way different with the icons that are not all the same shape. Next up, we have this amazing looking setup. You can see how cool this looks and it's actually very easy to create. Now, again, the first thing you want to do is always set the wallpaper. Make sure you don't move it around when you set it up so it fits perfectly here on the screen. And you want to colorize, basically tint the icon so it matches the wallpaper. So again, the steps are pretty simple. You go to edit here, go to customize. But you have to be aware here that if you go and tap tint then you can see that it will also basically add that layer right there on the wallpaper that makes the wallpaper dark and it doesn't look that good make sure you remove that and when you go with tint ios again in this wallpaper also will not pick the color that you want it will pick a darker color because of the of the color of the wallpaper but you can see this doesn't stand out that much now you can leave it like this if you want to but in my opinion this looks much better if you go with the color picker and then just go ahead and pick that color right there like these colors that 
colors that do stand out on the wallpaper and it matches perfectly here with this black space that the wallpaper has and of course the tint here with these knobs and all that in the orange color it actually looks pretty dope. Now here is the next setup for this video. Now here what we have done is that we have also used a widget. Now this is pretty cool because it's a widget from Widgie which does have a transparent background and also doesn't have a label right there so it looks much much better. Now the way to do that you install Widgie. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video and you just go ahead and find any widget that you like. You don't have to do this one. You can find any one you want you just go to explore right here will have a ton of widgets and you need to set up the transparency here for the widgets to do that you just go to the edit mode on the home page here and then just swipe once more where there are no icons or anything else you take a screenshot right here and then you go back to widget and go here under manage tap on setup transparency and you just load here and here load the screenshot you just took once you have done that then you're good to go you can go ahead and add this widget right there now the wallpaper here is just a black wallpaper with this yellow line now what i've done here is just i've just zoomed in on the wallpaper a bit just to align this line right here the yellow one with this row of icons and removed all the other icons so we have the dock and we have these four icons right there that sit on that yellow space it actually looks amazing now what you want to do here is when you go to edit and customize if you tint the icons you will see that it will also tint right there the widget so if you're setting up your home screen to look like this first of all make sure to set up the icons and you tint the icons and then after that you go ahead and add the widget right there because then it won't tint the widget and it will look much much better and of course don't forget to remove the labels from the width from the icons right there that gives it a very nice and clean look and last but not least we have uh, this setup right here now this is very simple to create again all you have to do is just set up this wallpaper on the home screen and when you do that make sure that you don't move it around and once it's set up all you have to do here is just place the icons on the left side and on the right side just leave the middle blank like that and in this case with this wallpaper you will have a ton of options to tint the icons because as you can see right here we have a colorful wallpaper so you can just go ahead and pick any of the colors right here and any of these colors will actually match the wallpaper so it looks again great with any of the colors now you can also if because it has a ton of different colors here and it's also black on both sides you can also go ahead and choose the dark mode icons they will also look really good just always make sure you remove the labels and make sure you remove that dark tint from the wallpaper because this way it does actually look much much better so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are five amazing setups that you can create today easily on your ios 18 device hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more ios 18 videos and more customization videos and i will see you on the next one